What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's been a minute. I've been gone. We've ended up having to take the whole month of January off. We actually ended up having a litter of puppies that dropped on us on Christmas Day. Uh, I haven't really talked about it a lot. Um, you guys probably have seen them a couple times just in the background of videos. But me and my wife, we actually breed and show Connie Corsos. And we actually, like I said, we had a litter that was born on Christmas morning. So the whole month of January was just nothing but taking care of them. And that's where I've been. And just having to focus on that. And then we also had a couple of dog shows that we were showing at, which we've been doing good at. But anyways, so this video, whole purpose of it is I'm going to literally give a brief, I'm going to say brief, I'm going to try to make this quick so this isn't like a 30 minute long video, of exactly what's to come for this year for 2024. Everything's getting back on track, everything's looking good, and I just want to kind of give everyone a quick update of what they could be expecting for this coming year as we're going into it. So, with that said, let's get into it. Okay, so, first and foremost, probably the one that I have a list, so I didn't forget things. Uh, probably the number one thing that a lot of people have been asking me and Chris, with two S's, LSX, is what is up with the Cobra WS6 series. The series is still happening, guys. Like I said, unfortunately, we ended up having a litter of puppies, so we've been having to take care of that. And then also Chris ended up having some mechanical failure stuff happen with his car, so he's been having to try to get it right. So we would be good to go on that series because he was way under power because he was having to deal with some stuff with the motor. Last I heard when I talked to him on the phone, he's all good to go though, and everything should be back on track here in the next week or two, hopefully. Fingers crossed. So the series is coming back. The series is good to go. It wasn't just a quick little teaser or something, and we weren't going to fall through with the guys. We just, like I said, we got super busy, and uh, we're just chasing other things at the moment, so we went live. But, series is coming back, so we'll be good there, I promise. Uh, one last thing I was going to ask you guys. So, my car is pretty much a pretty basic bolt-on Cobra. Uh, it doesn't have a lot done. It has a short throw shifter in it. It has subframe connectors. It's got exhaust. It's got an SCT tune up, tuner on it. Um, it's got the overflow tanks. Um, just some basic little things. So I'm in debate. I have 60 pound injectors, and then I also have a JLT cold air intake, and I have a 2.93 upper pulley sitting in my garage that I haven't put on that car yet. I'm in debate whether or not I should put those parts on. We're going to wait and see if Chris's motor is 100% and kind of see what kind of power he makes um, and see where he's at. And then I'm going to be deciding whether or not I should put those parts on the car or not. So my question is for you guys. Would you guys prefer to see me put those parts on or do you want me to leave it as is right now and just run them exactly how they are at the moment and then start modifying it after we've kind of wrapped up this stock to stock series because the plan is uh when me and chris talked about it was we're gonna modify more once this series wraps up if we see enough uh, if we see enough success from people being interested in the series which so far the response has been great um so there will be like a 2.0 to this series hopefully where it'll be a lot more mod heavy where we're really gonna start modifying these two cars and then really start testing them to see what they're like after we modify them as well so that's just kind of a sneak peek of where we're at on that and kind of where we're going. So anyways, if you guys think I should go ahead and put those parts on before and do it for this series, comment down below. Let me know if you guys think I should wait and just go full-fledged into it when we really start modifying them. Then we could do that. Uh, the next video we do have planned, you guys are really, really going to enjoy. Uh, like I said, we've already talked about it. We've kind of laid the groundwork on it. I'm not going to tell you guys what it is, but it's going to be something you guys have been wanting to see and you're going to enjoy it. So that's where we're at on the Cobra and WS6 here. So hang tight. It is coming back. It will be back on a normal schedule. Like I said, uh, end of December when we started that was right before Christmas, obviously. And then we went into the new year and, you know, he had his motor issues. I had a brand new litter of puppies with me and my wife were having to take care of and get, making sure they were good, which they're, they're good. They're 100%. So everything's good on that aspect. And uh, yeah, like I said, so expect the series to be coming back and we've got some crazy stuff lined up for you guys on that. Uh, we 
actually got an offer from some person that wants to have us out with the cars to do something, and it's absolutely insane, so I can't wait to show you guys that as well. But, moving on. So, as I said, I'm trying to keep this short so it doesn't take up your whole day, because no one wants to watch 30 minutes long videos. I mean, at least I know I don't. Okay, future events. So, what can you expect to see for this year as far as events and whatnot? Okay, so, real quick. We will be out at Texas 2K. Texas 2K is actually being hosted here in DFW over at in Ennis at the racetrack over there. So we will be out there and we'll be filming and doing some coverage out there at Texas 2K. And then also the week before that, we're going to be down in Austin at Super Lap Battle at Circuit of the Americas, which is the F1 track here in Texas. So we're going to be doing a video down there with that as well. So you guys can be expecting some Time Attack Racing content. You guys can be expecting some drag racing content over there at TX2K, which everyone is probably familiar with Texas 2K. So, you know, it's it's hard hitters, probably the hardest hitters you'll ever see. Absolutely insane. So, hopefully you guys are going to enjoy that. And then also, we have two major rallies that we're going to be doing for this year as well. We have an overnight one. Um, as I mentioned in past videos, I run a rally group here in Texas that is called Street Kings with an S rally. So, Street Kings Rally. And uh, we are actually going to be doing an overnight trip up from here in DFW up to Talamina Scenic Byway Pass. So it's a really, really cool road. We drove it last year. We're going to be driving again this year. We have about 20 cars going on this one. And what it is, is the road starts on the border of Oklahoma. And then from Oklahoma, it takes you all the way into Arkansas, up into the Ozark Mountains and all that. And then we'll be spending the night in Hot Springs, Arkansas for the evening, going out for nightlife, uh, a little bit of partying, you know, basic fun stuff for, you know, near the end of the day stuff. So we'll be doing a coverage video on that event. And then our big, big rally that we'll be participating in this year that I'm putting on is we are going to Colorado and we're going to be driving the Million Dollar Highway. We have about 14, 15 cars going on that one. So it'll be a good little turnout, nothing too crazy, but a solid group of guys uh, and girls. And uh, it'll be good times. So if you're unfamiliar with that one, that's another famous road here in our good old country. So hopefully you guys are excited about seeing coverage on that road and seeing a different aspect from what Tennessee was to what Colorado is going to bring with us. So yeah. Okay. Try to move on here. Try to make this quick, like I said. Um, okay. So here's one that's kind of a teaser. So I bought a new car for my collection. I've had it pretty much since November. So I've had it for a little bit now and I have it tucked away. No one has seen it. And I'm not gonna say what it is yet because I'm not sure when I wanna do the unveiling, but it is absolutely amazing guys. It's, it's so good. And uh, I'm excited to show you guys what that's gonna be. So the whole story of this is I actually sold one car. I'm not going to say what it is. But I sold one car, and then I turned around and bought the exact same car. So, that's your teaser on that one. Um, but we have a new car in the collection. It is absolutely phenomenal. 10 out of 10. It is so good. And I think you guys are going to just have your mind blown when you see how good and how pristine this thing is. So, I'm excited about showing you guys that. So we should have a new car unveiling here soon. Um, maybe I'll, maybe if I can get enough. Okay, so we'll make a deal. Um, obviously, I've been chasing 1,000 subscribers on the channel. Like that is the number I'm wanting to hit. That was the goal, and we are still doing the giveaway. Whenever we hit 1,000 subscribers, I am literally going to be sending a random subscriber a free pair of Oakleys. We work with Oakleys. Uh, we work with Oakley in the rally group, and I have an extra pair from when we did our Tell the Dragon rally, and I held them back, and I'm going to send them to a random subscriber whenever we hit a 1,000 subscribers. So if you're new here and you want to be in that drawing, please think about subscribing to the channel, as anyone who is an active subscriber, once we hit a 1,000 subs, you'll automatically be entered into winning a free pair of Oakleys. Literally, I'll have you DM me your address. I pay for shipping, I pay for everything, it's none of that where you have to worry about anything. No expenses out of your pocket whatsoever. I cover it all, I send them to you, and then I'll probably throw in maybe like 
bring some rally swag as well. I have some shirts from past events. I have some hats and I have some other stuff. Uh, I have Duke Cannon product as well, so maybe I'll throw some of that in and just do a cool care package. But uh, anyways, kind of what I was going to go back to though, if uh, if we can get to a thousand, whenever we hit that thousand, maybe that's when I'll do the unveiling of the new car and I'll show you guys. And I'm telling you, it's it's good. It's so good. So you guys will be stoked to see it for sure, I think. Okay, so that's where we're at on that. And then, okay, next one. RX-7 update. What is going on with the good old FD? The FD is still good. Uh, we had a hiccup on the pink stuff. We're still trying to get that figured out and get a schedule put together for it. It's still going. We're going to have it back. I, I know I keep saying it. Um, we have so much good stuff coming up for that car, and that car is going to be so just astonishingly mind-blowing once you guys see it. Like, I can't stress enough. We have went all in on this car, and there's so, so many parts I have yet to show you guys, um, which... Uh, that's the other thing. So comment down below if you guys have been watching and I've done a couple unboxings on some of the parts that I've bought for that car. If you guys want to see another unboxing of some FD parts, comment down below. Let me know if that's something you guys would like to see and I can throw in one or two of those again and showcase a couple more things that we have set aside for that car. But as far as right now, yes, it is. it's just having to get the paint situation figured out and get that knocked out. As soon as that's taken care of, we'll be back on track and start assembling it back together. And we are going to have one vicious, just absolutely beautiful FD. So can't wait to show you guys that. And then what else is there? I think that's pretty much it. Like I said, guys, I was trying to keep this pretty short, sweet. Uh, I didn't want to take up a whole lot of your time. I wanted to just give you a quick little overview of what's coming for this year. There's a lot of cool stuff. Um, one other thing is, going back to events, there is one other major, major event that we'll be participating in. And uh, it has been an event that I have been after to participate in for years now. And I'm getting the full VIP exclusive access of going to this event. I'm not going to spoil what it is quite yet. Uh, probably here in the next month or two, we'll get into it and start going over some of the details of what it is and where I'll be going. But it's absolutely crazy. And uh, I think you guys are going to go seeing it for sure. But that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope everyone has had a great new year. Like I said, I'm sorry for the lapse in between from the last video now. I've been posting up a bunch of the short reels and stuff on YouTube and then also I've been trying to post some stuff every once in a while on Instagram which if you have not yet go over to Instagram we uh, finally broke a thousand followers on that so that was really cool but you can check me out I always have the link of my Instagram down in the description down below it's just Dallas underscore W underscore Keener um, and you can find me on there so give me a follow if you can as that greatly helps too but yeah again I hope you guys have all had a great beginning of the new year Everyone's crushing their goals of whatever they're setting out to do this year. Let's all get it together. Stay hungry. Feed on success. We'll see you guys soon. Peace.